continuing to work on the flying flea uh, wing. All the wing ribs are done. Most of them were the, the big size rib here. And we had, I think, four of the neck size. And as you keep going down toward the wing tip, the ribs get smaller and smaller. Now, as you can see over here, there's my stack of wing ribs all stacked up nicely and waiting for some wing spars. So let's talk about the wing spars. One of the things I like about this design is none of the pieces are real big. The, everything can be built on this eight foot table basically. And the, so the biggest wing spar we have is the main wing spar which is about eight feet. The other ones are a little smaller. Even though the pieces aren't very big, there's a lot of them. There are six different wing sections. So you have a front and a rear wing, each of them in three sections. Each of them has two spars. So that's a total of 12 different spars that you have to make. The spars are hard to make, but there's just more pieces than you might think. This is the main, uh, main spar, the front spar, for the front wing. It's the biggest one. So let's take a closer look at that. So here it is. The cap strips are this material right here. So it's uh, Sitka spruce, 15 millimeter by 60 millimeter. And then the, the web that goes on the front and the back uh, is, uh, I'm using eighth inch Okume plywood. Um, I went with a little thicker plywood, eighth inch is closer to three millimeter. The plans call for inch and a half, or for one and a half millimeter. Uh, but I'm using Okume, which isn't quite as strong as birch. If I was using birch, a little denser, a little heavier plywood, I would have gone with the one and a half millimeter. But the Okume is a little bit lighter, not quite as strong. And so I decided to go just a little bit thicker on that. On, there'll be, um, this material gets put top and bottom all the way down through here to make basically a, a big box. And along the way, you have these little stiffeners or uprights that go in place. On the ends, they are uh, 15 millimeter thick, and, and then the main ones that you see in here are 5 millimeter, and where the, the attach points are, they're 10 millimeter. And as you can look down here, you can see that they're different heights. Uh, that's because of these, these blocks that go in place. So these ones don't have blocks, these ones have blocks, so you have to account for that. The blocks themselves, it calls for hardwood, and so uh, oak was what was available. You could use maple, you could use whatever you want, any, any good hardwood. Uh, but, but I used oak because it was available. And the reason for that is uh, that's where the bolts and stuff um, go through. When this is all together, it's going to get these wing attach plates. This is for the hinges. And they're going to go on there. And then be another one that will go on the other side over here. And as you can see, the, the holes in there the bolts go through, and the bolts are going to go all the way through uh, and come out the other side. So it's going to sandwich all that together, sandwich these plates on either side for good strength. As opposed to down here, uh, this is where the main wing mount is. So this um, spar cap right here is for the bottom of the spar. You have to make these little nut plates and screw those in place. Um, and so the nuts get welded onto the plate so that you can put the bolt through and into a blind area. Because once this is all put together, like so, there it goes. Once that's all glued together, then another piece of this plywood will go on the whole, whole length of it, and you won't be able to get inside to get a wrench on anything. So that's why you have to use these nut plates. Um, this one's pretty important because the whole weight of the airplane is going to hang, hang off of that. So that's the main spar of the front wing. The main spar of the rear wings made just like it, just a little bit shorter. Uh, and the cap strips again are, are this size. For the rear spars of each wing, the cap strip, cap strip is much smaller, it's this size. Plus it's not a box, it's just a C shape. So it gets one of these on this side, one on that side, but the back remains open. So 
not near as much stress on that rear spar, so it's a lot smaller. What about the wing tips? Uh, so we, that was two spars here we're talking about, right? This is a, a main spar for the front wing, the main one for the rear wing is just a little bit shorter. The, uh, the wing tip spars are a little, a little different. So they're not straight. It's just a simple box, it's true, but it's uh, a little more complicated to build. Why? Because, again, it's not straight, so it's full thickness back here, tapers down pretty thin out here. It also tapers this way, full thickness this way, tapers down to the tip. And even the spar material, the cap spars itself, starts out at the full 15 uh, millimeter at the root, but at the tip, it's down to less than half of that. So there's a lot more work, actually, that goes into making these spars for the four different wing tips that you have to do. And there's two different sizes. Um, this one I was just showing you would be for a for the rear wing. So it's got smaller wing tips. And again, these these um, blocks that stick up, that's where those long bolts we were talking about go all the way through. So metal plate on the top and the bottom, and long bolts go all the way through to sandwich that. And that's the wing attach point, which allows it to fold up and over for storage. The front wing, being a bigger wingspan, has uh, a much longer spar, but it's built the exact same way. And inside the spar here, at uh, every, I think it's about every 300 millimeters, there's an upright brace that goes in, and again, the upright brace is up to get smaller as you get out toward the tip. So, just took a little bit of clamping uh, to, once everything was in place, to get this to come around to the right shape, but really wasn't too bad. Um, but it did surprise me a little bit when I get looking at this, thinking, well, it's just a simple box, that's all you have to build. Well, first off, you've got to build 12 boxes, and uh, then, actually, no two are the same. Even the wing tips are mirror images of each other because they taper in opposite directions. Now, one more thing, down here at the root, um, this isn't 90 degrees across here, it actually tapers in 3 degrees at the top. So when, when it's mounted, that wingtip has a little bit of uh, dihedral in it. So, a few little subtleties to building those spars, but uh, nothing 